learn how to play a bowling game. First, go to bowling class that you have chosen. When arrived, the next step you should do is to get some bowling shoes. And if you are a beginner, you can just rent shoes at the alley. Don't forget to wear socks or bring socks to the alley, guys. Make sure the shoes you wear are comfortable on your feet. Then now we go to bowling arena. Put the bag and input your name on the screen. And choose the right ball. Before you begin to bowl, you need to find a ball that is the right weight for you and which is the right size for your fingers. For most adults with bigger hands, use 6.3 to 7.2 kg and 4.5 to 6.3 kg for most adults with smaller hands. Generally, it's better to have a ball that is a little heavier because it will help you gain momentum. A bowling lane is 60 feet or 18.3 meter long from the foul line. The bowler cannot overstep the foul line during their approach or their shoot won't count. <coughs> now is the playing time! See how the result of my shoot and strike! Whoa. Next, my partner Lisa will explain about bowling games. Keep watching! Whee. Bowling is a target sport and recreational activity in which a player rolls or throws a bowling ball toward a pin or another target. In bowling pins, the goal is to knock over pins at the end of a lane with either two or three balls per frame allowed to knock down all pins. In bowling targets, the aim is usually to get the ball as close to a mark as possible. The surface in bowling target might be grass, gravel, or synthetic. Bowling is played by 100 million people in more than go countries and is the subject of many video games. Bowling games can be distinguished into two general classes, pin bowling and target bowling. Pin bowling has three popular variants of the game. First, candy pin ball are the smallest of the three, but the tallest and thinnest. Two, the duck pins are the shortest, and three, the pins ball are the heaviest. Fitri is back. Now we learn the lingo. Yeah, that one called strike. Here a picture to let you understand about lingo. A strike is when you knock down all the pin with the ball on your first try. A spare is when you knock down all the pin on your second try. A split is when the first ball of a frame knock down the hit pin or the pin closest to you, but leave two or more pin that are non ejection is it thought to hit a spare in this situation. Especially if you have a 7 to 10 split, which is the hardest split to hit. A turkey is 3 strikes in a row. If any pins remain after the bowling turn, it's called an open frame. Now, we learn the scoring. If a bowler hit a strike, they should record an X on their score sheet. If a bowler hit a spare, then they should place a slash mark on their score sheet. The most a bowler can score in one game is 300 points, or we can say that the full point is 300 for one game. Okay, now I will tell you about land etiquette. Every bowler must wear bowling shoes. Bowling shoes should not be worn outside or into Red's room. Bowl on your own land. Don't bowl at the same time as someone else on any land next to you. Don't play your game on another land. You should have enough space on your own. Be ready when it's your turn to bowl. Don't sleep or play your phone. The ball should be bowled down the land. Don't throw it. Avoid distracting other players while they are bowling. Next is how to improving your bowling games. First, watch bowling on TV. You can try to observe the professional and see what technique they use. Second, ask for advice. 
If you really want to improve your game, seek out help from others, more advanced bowler, and from coach. Third, join a bowling league. This is a great way to keep up a regular practice and to make a new friends. Okay guys, now my friend Ayu will explain the bowling history. Keeping watching. Hi all, I am Prasa Ayu. Here I will explain the story of bowling. The story of bowling can be traced back to the Stone Age. The first evidence of this game was found by British archaeologist Sir Flinder Petrie and his team of archaeologists in Egypt in 1930. William Pelle, a German historian, said that bowling was a set in Germany around 300 AD. In Germany, the game has its origin as a religious ceremony to determine the existence of sin. In England, bowling began in the early 1100s of England. There are several variations of bowling, such as kettle and horse cart, which were discovered during the mid 1300s. However, the first written mention of the game was made by King Edward. Then, during King Henry, this game gained popularity and was played as a symbol of nobility and social status. In America, bowling games are indeed very popular from the past until now. At the 1900s, bowling was once again accepted by community as part of recreation event. 1895, America formed an official organization of the American Bowling Congress. Apart from that, actually, the first people to popularize bowling in America were the Dutch, who came there in. 1600 before it was called bowling, the game was called Dutch pins. Interestingly enough, the history of bowling that I know of, and I'm curious about how to play the bowling game. Okay, guys, next you will see how the expert play their game. See the technique. Do did you see that the ball is moving to center? Is it? Guys, so this is the end of our video today. See you next time.